Okay, so this is an elimination reaction as well, but this is a bimolecular elimination reaction, right? An E2 reaction. Why is that? Yeah, so what do we got? We got a good leaving group. What else do we have? What is it called? Strong base, strong base. Strong base in this case. It's not a nucleophile, right? Okay, because why? It's Because it can't, it cannot uh, do an SN2 reaction. It can't do a nucleophilic attack on that thing. So in this case, it's going to be a strong base, okay? So, um, we have a strong base and we can't do that nucleophilic attack, okay? If it was, if that wasn't, it would do an SN2, okay? So, the other thing, like we said, tertiary alkyl. Okay. So, um, the ethoxide is a strong base. So, what's going to happen? is the one-step bimolecular reaction, elimination. Remember, E2 is one step, E1 is two steps, okay? Same thing with SN1 and SN2. Okay, so it's all gonna happen at once, one, two, three. I guess I should say one right after the other. They're all gonna induce each other with it. Of course, ethanol is formed there. That's the ET part. And um, we got also NA plus the R minus. So there's your E2 reaction, again, just to go over, good leaving group, tertiary alkyl halide, strong base, right? That's all the recipe for an E2 reaction. Okay. Are there any questions on that one? Okay, cool.